director Kenya Meteorological Department will be here with us. But still on El Nino and residents of Wambaka village in Nyando have pointed an accusing finger at government agencies for failing to set up mitigation measures ahead of the heavy rains later in the month. A spot check by Citizen TV showed that parts of the village have already been inundated as water levels from the Lake Victoria begin to swell. And as Laura Otino now reports, the residents are now appealing for quick intervention from government by setting up alternative evacuation camps as they anticipate that the rains could wreak more havoc than in previous years. At the old Ombaka Secondary School in Nyando, Kisumu County, Beatrice Anyango, a 39-year-old mother of two, winds up on house chores. Inside this room, her neighbors gather for a crisis meeting. For the last six months, this abandoned classroom block has been home to five families who were displaced during the short rain season in April. The prediction of the El Nino phenomenon has left them restless as this abandoned school is situated right at the center of the water's path. This evacuation center that was set up in 2019 is currently littered with old cans of paint. In about three weeks, nearly 1,200 people from Mombaka village will converge here as they seek higher ground to escape the deluge. With a hall designed to host about 50 people, it will be survival for the fittest for the affected to secure shelter. Kama kuna mattress, hiyo mattress ndiyo bedroom, ndiyo staff room, sitting room, ndiyo unapikia, hiyo tu mattress. Hakuna malia, hakuna nafasi kubwa. Ukiweka tu mattress hapo, hiyo ni household, ama hiyo ni home state. Tunataka sirikali ya tusaidia na pali pengine, ambayo tunaweza kipa. Kwa sababu watu wako wengi na ugonjwa pia siku mingi. Eh, watu wengine wanakooa, watu wengine wakuna TV. With the weatherman predicting the onset of the El Nino rains beginning October, residents in earmarked areas to be hardest hit by the floods are hanging by a thread. Here, in Ombaka village in Nyando, Kisumu County, residents are stuck between the ever-flooding river Nyando on one side and Lake Victoria on the other. The marshy grounds I'm standing in right now, evidence of the awaiting danger. Kitu ingine na itwa daik. Iyo daik ndiyo muhimu sana. Kama government inawasa fanya, inawasa saidia sana. Iyo daik ilitengeneswa 1997. Various stakeholders have also called for the completion of the multi-million Korusuin Dam in order to have a strained water and avert flooding in the vast Kano Plains. Until then, residents here clutch their hearts in their palms, fearing for the worst, but hoping that the government will offer a solution before El Nino comes knocking. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV. And this is the conversation we're having right now. I'd like to hear your questions, but send them 